Hey, welcome back to Ontario Lakeside. We have pretty exciting news. We're finally getting a real solar set up at the cottage, so we'll be truly off-grid with power. We've been using ice for cooling food for a while now, and although it does work, it's been about five years of soggy sandwiches, and it's time for an upgrade. So we're going to install a very exciting one kilowatt lithium ion system. Some of the parts for that are, haven't arrived yet and we're waiting for them to come in the mail. So in the meantime I'm going to design and build the ground mount. So the idea I've come up with is to use a what you call a jack post as the basis for my solar stand. I built most of the ground mount using Unistrap. I also used regular fencing supplies like fence pipe and straps. These are inexpensive materials which really work well in this situation. The reason I chose to put the solar panels on the ground mount rather than on the roof is that it really simplifies the installation. We have a lot of land and I have a perfect spot where there's lots of sun and as a bonus it's bedrock so I can just bolt it right in. Because of the wind loads and snow loads on these panels, we need a really good solid foundation. I drilled into the bedrock and used uh, anchor cement and bolts to bolt the whole thing down and then poured a concrete foundation around that. The jack post has two pipes. I used a bit of uh, plastic to shim between the two to make up the small gap. 
and this allows the whole unit to be rotated horizontally. To adjust it vertically, you simply pull off the unistrut supports and tilt the angle to the angle you want and then reattach it and bolt it at that angle. The panels mount on rails, which were provided with the kit that I bought. They're made by Iron Mountain, and they make for really easy installation. Now, the actual ground mount I designed and built myself, and it's designed to be two axes, meaning it can rotate both horizontally and vertically to take advantage of the sun throughout the day, and to adjust the angles of the panels throughout the year to get the most power from them. waiting on a couple more parts for the actual solar setup and as soon as I get those and get it installed I'm going to put that video up as soon as I can. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this. If you have a second please give us a thumbs up, subscription and share with your friends. We're up to almost 2,500 subscribers and we're pretty excited about that. So if you guys can tell your friends that'd be great. Anyway we'll see you next time on Ontario Lakeside.